What's going on guys? My name is Ivor Martinez, otherwise known as Mr. Martinez, and today we're going over three brands all short men need to know of. Welcome back to the channel guys. If it's your first time here, definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell button to get notifications every time we post a new video. And also continue to share my videos and all that other really good stuff. So as I mentioned before, we are going to go ahead and talk about three brands that all shorter guys need to know of. Being a short guy myself, I'm like at 5'7". I suffer from the fact that I need to have everything that I wear tailored. Uh, nothing fits me off the rack, except for the exception of maybe like a few items for like very specific stores that are off the rack. Other than that, I always have to take my suits and my pants, especially, um, maybe not so much shirts. Shirts are actually okay, but I gotta say that pants, I always have to take them in to get hemmed and then tapered. And as much as I like visiting my tailor, my tailor is also expensive. So I always want to go ahead and find something that's actually worth buying and then that way I don't have to take it to the tailor if I could just get it done all at once. With these three brands, I wanted to go ahead and cover three things. I want to cover first and foremost, uh, their fit, I want to cover price and then ultimately, you know, is it worth buying or is it worth for you to consider? So let's go ahead and jump into the first brand. So for the first brand, I'm actually going to go ahead and talk about what I have on here. I have on some dress pants and a shirt from under 510 and under 510 are a relatively newer brand and they have been killing it though. So uh, as you'll see, I do have some nice dress pants on and I'll tell you what, these are probably the best dress pants that I've worn that I've gotten off the rack, like just out of the box, it they fit. And that's considering like Indochino and even then I still had to get like alterations done. So I do also want to talk about the shirt in general, just because as I did size up the, um, torso area like in the midsection did go up as well so i do have a little excess here so when i tuck it in it looks fine but then when i untuck it i do have to basically kind of like bring it in a little bit do like a little bit of a military tuck there uh, to kind of give me more of a better silhouette here and you'll see that on the course of just checking out the rest of these shirts i don't know what it is and you'll see it it's, it's like kind of like a trend on all three of them um where they do have that they're nice and cut, like very short, the way that you want them, like just in case you want to untuck them. However, it just has this midsection that's just very straight. It doesn't come down like a V. And even like off the rack shirts that I've gotten before, they seem to fit better, even if they're not meant for me, so. Did you hear it? Crap. All right guys, the next up on the list is going to be Ashineri. Ashineri is a brand that just released in like 2016. So it's been around for a little bit. Uh, they were on Shark Tank. They're very popular for that uh, Shark Tank episode. So they kind of uh, promote that a lot. And it is a brand that's also, again, getting into um, getting new things out, all that other good stuff. To start off with shirts and everything. So I have one of their shirts on. It is in Oxford. Um, it does fit me really good. Uh, but again, it does have that issue in the mid section, like it looks okay. It maybe even looks better than the uh, under 510 shirt. Uh, it does have a little bit more of a silhouette down my torso area. So I'd say that they definitely killed it on that aspect, but I will go ahead and knock them for their jeans. Um, I ordered uh, some of their jeans. I ordered the dark wash, I believe. Um, and at the bottom, uh, for some reason it, doesn't go down in the taper, uh, such as the under 510 uh, dress pants do. They kind of flare out or like maybe it's like a straight cut and you'll see that as well. Um, and that's something that I don't really like, especially if I had to take it to a tailor. It is meant to be kind of like just right, right off the rack. It'll be ready to go. So that's kind of one of the things that I didn't like about their fit. Uh, as far as the shirt though, going back to that, it does fit really well. Uh, fits really well around the uh, neck. And then this is going to be a small, um, as you can see, they vary just because an under 510, I was a medium for dress shirts. And for these shirts, I'm actually a small. And to be honest, for Ashineri, I need to be a small for their dress shirts. And then for their Oxfords, I'm actually a medium. So they, 
they're under the same brand but they're cut differently it's very weird so just keep that in mind when you're making these purchases as well just so you won't be thrown off i do think that actionary is a brand that's definitely up and coming and i do think that it's very worth it just keep note of all the things that i just pointed out though just so you won't have any kind of um issues in the future you might have to do a few returns just to get your fit right before getting into the third brand just want to go ahead and remind you guys to go ahead and follow me on instagram my stuff will be right there i have daily posts of outfits also just men's lifestyle stuff dad stuff as well um go ahead and check out my stories i give you guys like insights about videos that are coming up such as this one so if you guys checked out the story you guys will know that this video was actually coming so just make sure to check me out go ahead and engage and let me know if you're part of the family all right guys for the final brand i have peter manning now peter manning is a very popular brand uh based out of nyc i'd say that this is going to be more on the pricier point as far as like pricing uh shirts start off at like 88 dollars so it is very fine though like for the price of it i do feel the difference as far as like the other two brands as opposed to this one um but i'd say that kind of you know seeing the other brands you don't necessarily have to spend all that money in order to go ahead and get the same type of clothing so if you are more like on the budget side i'd recommend the other two brands as opposed to peter manning now for the fit of peter manning i'd say that the fit of the oxford that i have on here um is a little bit more snug it does fit a little bit more to the body and i'd say that the torso again i'd say that it does have that like straight look to it, it does have a little bit of an accent on the torso but not enough to kind of tell so it does have that straight look a little bit just like i had for like the under 510 shirt and i also have some jeans on these are very light wash jeans and for the jeans i do really like them i'd say that they actually hit it on the nail with the fit um, i got these i think it was like a 32 by 28 or 27 i don't remember but i'll have it linked down below as well uh both pieces so you can go ahead and check that out so you have it, guys those are three brands that all shorter men need to know about um i think that for each individual brand i think all of them have their own ups and downs um i'd say that if you're looking for something more um on the quality and pricing end i'd say uh peter manning is a really good option for you guys if you're looking for something more on the um lower end of it but still has a little bit more quality i'd say under 510 in the middle um i'd say ashen area is right in the middle on price point and fit everything else so it's definitely up to you especially to what your needs are do your own research as well go ahead and check them out as i mentioned before all the links to all the things that i'm wearing right now are going to be down below um also go ahead and take me on any thing that you go ahead and post an ig or just um if you end up making a purchase on any of these go ahead and take me go ahead and send me a message on ig i like to go ahead and interact with you guys on there as well just send me a dm i'm a very friendly person on there so go ahead and send that over um i want to remind you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and hit that like button if you like this and i want to thank you for your time if you made it all the way here uh, we are going to ramp up to get up to 200 followers so definitely go ahead and continue to hit that subscribe button uh, hit that bell button to receive notifications and as always style up